guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that's actually really hard for me to talk about, but that is okay, because I feel like this, what I'm about to talk about, affects a lot of teenagers, and I know statistics say like it affects a lot of teenagers. I feel, I feel like it's good to put out there and something that people need to hear. So, anyway, basically a couple days ago, I found out that I have anxiety and depression. And um, honestly, this is really, really hard for me to admit because this is, I am a very happy person and I never thought I could get depression. And when I was like told this or when I took the quiz and I found out I had it, I was like, wait, what? Like, that's not me. But I knew something was wrong. Like, I knew something had been wrong for a couple of like, I just didn't feel myself for a while, and I didn't really know what it was or how to deal with it, so I kind of just kept it to myself, but it started getting worse, and when it got to the point where I had to ask my parents to let me have a mental health day, that's when I knew something was bad and I needed to go see someone. So anyway, right now I'm seeing a therapist about this, and it is helping. Yeah, it's just really weird for me to say out loud that I have depression and I have really bad anxiety. I actually get anxiety attack a lot and I don't really know why. I can't really figure out what triggers it. No one else around me can really figure out what triggers it, but it happens. If you know me, like, in person, you know that I'm one of the happiest people you'll, like, ever meet. Like, I'm always smiling, but I just haven't felt... Like, not like, I haven't felt happy, but I think I suppressed it for so long that I was like, oh, it's nothing wrong that my mind would make me think that, oh, you're fine, or like, it would like, change how I was really feeling, so like, I kept smiling, and that's not good to suppress your feelings the way I did. It is very bad for your health, actually. It can hurt you both physically, obviously mentally, and emotionally, so very bad. Do not do that. It is a lot better you to talk to someone. If you feel like something is wrong, talk to someone. It can be your parents. It can be your best friend. I told my best friend about this before I told anyone else. And it was a good idea for me. Because I tell her everything. And it, I like felt safe telling her. But I needed to tell my parents. And she convinced me to tell my parents. And... After I told my mom about it, the next person I told when I found out about it was Melissa. You guys probably don't even know who Melissa is because I don't think I've talked, to her, talked about her in a lot of these videos. But Melissa is, I don't, this is really complicated, my mom's best friend's daughter, who my mom's best friend is my godmother, and Melissa is, so her, t Melissa's technically my god sister, but I just call her my sister. Because I call her my cousin and my sister. So, I'm very close with her. I talk to her about everything. She, she, she is one of my, she's one of my best friends. I, like, um, her numbers in my speed dial. She's just, I talk to her about, like, I talk to her as much as possible. Um, and actually she's having a baby, right? She's about, she's having, like, a baby in a month. So I'm really excited for her and that, but... Anyway, so once I actually found out about this, I texted her, and she lives in California, by the way, so on the other side of the world from me, which is very, very sad because I don't get to see her very often, and actually, I haven't seen her in five years. The last time I saw her was that I went to Hawaii with her and her family, but I miss her so much. I don't actually, I've told her about this channel. I don't know if she actually watched, I don't know if she watches it or not, but Melissa, if you watch this, I miss you a lot. Anyway, um, so yeah, I told her about it because she struggled with, she struggles with the same thing. She found out she had like depression and anxiety when she was a freshman in college and she has done amazing things with her life since then, but it was really hard for her at first. Um, I know it's still hard for her, but I've been texting her about it, and she's been telling me some of her strategies 
and it's really helpful um one of the biggest things she said was talk to someone who understands you like make sure you have someone and thank god i have her if i didn't have her i don't know what i'd do because a lot of people don't understand this and a lot of teens have this it's very common in teens because our brains aren't as developed as our bodies or as what's happening in our lives so our brains don't know how to process it and it puts us it can put us into depression it can give us a lot of anxiety so if you have this don't be ashamed because it is not something you should be ashamed of it is something that is natural for a lot of teens to have and it's not something you should be ashamed of when I first found out about it a couple of days ago, I was like, this is not me. Why is this happening? Like, why? And I actually texted this to Julia, and she kind of got mad at me for it. And she said, um, no one asked for it. Like, I understand no one asked for it. I just didn't understand because I know myself. Like, I know my personality, and I know that I'm, like, just, like, a happy person. And I didn't understand how I could have depression, which is, like being sad all the time I just didn't understand it and I was kind of freaking out but she told like she said don't let defy you and I do understand that you know, I can't let what's happening in my mind right now defy who I am so that's another reason I wanted to talk to you guys about this because obviously be true to you and if you have something like this don't let it defy you like you I know it's going to be hard but like you can push through it and it might never go away but you can still try like I'm working really hard to get through it and push through what's happening. Like sometimes it just feels like there's like a weight on my chest and I don't know how to get around it or there's like a cloud above my head, like one of those movies like the clouds with the rain or whatever. It's like sometimes it feels like that and it can be really hard. I'm getting better at dealing with that feeling. So just don't if you're going through something and you're not sure what's happening and you like it's scaring you and not even just scaring you if it's if it, you know something's wrong talk to someone it doesn't even have to be an adult you could always journal it but it's very important that you tell someone about it because it it is important to get help and I'm very glad that I have obviously my the YouTube community and like the people who have subscribed to my channel and it's very I'm really glad I can share this because it YouTube does like I just found out but being able to share what I've shared with you guys before does really help me so being able to share my depression journey if you will my depression and anxiety journey if you guys will with you guys is very helpful to me just because I don't always know to express my feelings but when I get in front of the camera the words just kind of come to me so it's very helpful to me thank you guys for being here and allowing me to do that anyway thank you guys for watching this video I, um, if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you want notifications on my videos go ahead and hit that notification bell um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, be true, be you.